historical complexity of Louisiana's culture may be only comparable in number of components as to the gumbo which is iconic of the state's cuisine. From French and Spanish imperialism to African influences, Indian cultures to the incorporation into the United States, the long history of Louisiana has made the study of the state difficult, to say the least. The questions of who, what, when, where, why, and how lead to an essentially opening of Pandora's box, giving rise to an infinite number of other questions all the same sort. Though intense, to better understand the people and culture of Louisiana, it becomes necessary to delve into this tangled world of historical questioning and hopefully shine light on not only its past, but also its present and its future. Specifically, religion becomes a deeply involved and divisive aspect of Louisiana's cultural past, and its understanding is without question of great importance. This can be best viewed by analysis of the two most dominant religious ideologies in Louisiana, that being Catholicism and the Baptist faith. Though arguably split geographically, these Christian doctrines have helped to mold the history of Louisiana. The geographical distribution of Catholics and Baptists can be easily seen when comparing maps describing both groups in Louisiana. Catholics make up a majority of parishioners in southeastern Louisiana, while Baptists are the predominant parishioners in northern and western Louisiana. While this is an accurate depiction of the number of parishioners, it is important to recognize that despite overarching numbers, these percentages are simply that, a percent of the total religiously active population. It now becomes necessary to understand historically why this is the case. Original colonial development was begun by the French in the 16th and 17th centuries with the idea of increased colonial power and the spread of the Catholic faith. Going into the 1700s, the establishment of government in Catholic parishes, compounded with increased populations, both urban and rural, led to a use of slaves throughout the region. Consequently, the first black codes were established through the Code Noir in 1724. These codes outlined the legal rights of both slaved and freed men, but also, in terms of religious doctrine, Article 3 of the Code Noir makes Catholicism the first established state religion in Louisiana. By making the specific and clear tenet, all other religious ideologies would be deemed illegal by the state. History proves, though, that illegality does not necessarily lend itself to total compliance. In fact, large numbers of evangelical religious groups would cross into Louisiana to spread their version of Christianity, normally a reasonable distance from New Orleans, to ensure as little attention from the Archdiocese of New Orleans as possible. With nearly 300 years of French and Spanish influences in Louisiana, Catholicism has taken a strong hold on the population. Though in 1803, with tensions running high for Napoleon in continental Europe, change was inevitable. The sale of the Louisiana Territory to the United States led to large-scale social changes throughout the region. Specifically, a proclamation by William C. C. Claiborne made clear to those living in Louisiana that all tenets of the Constitution of the United States would go into effect immediately. Of particular importance was the First Amendment, which overturned Article 3 of the Code Noir. With religion now free and the hope for a better life entrenched in the hearts of many, Louisiana became a land of monetary and religious wealth. The migration of many American settlers led to an increase in Louisiana's population over the next 100 years, many of whom were of the Baptist faith. Compounded with the spread of evangelical doctrines during the Second Great Awakening and a tendency of people with the same religious faith to settle in similar areas, northern Louisiana became predominantly Baptist, while southern Louisiana maintained its Catholic heritage. Religion in Louisiana can be considered a divisive subject, though with an understanding of religion through a historical context, we can shine light on the true religious nature of the state. While it is necessary to recognize that this division geographically between Catholics and Baptists does exist, that is not to say that the two religions stay totally separate. Large Baptist churches can be found on St. Charles Avenue in New Orleans, no more than a few miles from the home of the Catholic Archdiocese, just as large Catholic cathedrals exist in downtown Shreveport. In the end, though, by understanding that religious change occurs, whether with sweeping speed or gradual movement, one may be able to better grasp the religious identity of Louisiana, not only in their own time, but may also be able to shudder a guess about where religion will lead in the future.